I was on my way to Cuddleton headquarters when I decided to stop off at a McDonald's. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everyone. What's up, buddy? Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, I just... You look like someone I know. Who do I look like? I was so nervous to ask, but I just had to know. Welcome to McDonald's. Go ahead and order when you're ready. Nick, is that you? I actually didn't finish my Wicked Link game, so now I'm working. I actually just want to get my Happy Meal toy. Can you just give my Happy Meal toy? Oh, oh, that's sick. Oh. Good evening, everyone! What's up, boys, and welcome to day number three or four of Footmas. I have no idea what day it is right now, uh, but we are back at it again with another set of Footmas players. Probably the most emotional set that we've had so far in this 85 Balotelli, the 88 Iniesta, who's got like 13 stamina, and then an Akanji, which requires an 85 rated squad. We've got an 88 Iniesta on face value looks okay, but he's got 55 stamina, so, and, and horrible league. Spain linked well, but outside of that I, I can't see anyone doing him he probably requires uh probably requires an arm and a leg let's see dude probably is going to require at least an informer just a higher rated okay so an 84 rated squad and then just spain players you know what for an 88 rated card that's actually pretty decent i take back what i was going to say um that he was going to require too much but um the akanji card requires an 85 and i'm gonna go ahead and say that ain't it chief so i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that on this way to glory account but we will most likely do it on this one if you guys do want to see one of iniesta or a kanji as a footness episode you maybe a kanji at striker the swiss hero that links into zakaria drop a like on the video let's aim for 2500 likes for an emotional set of footness cards some things that are wrong and some things that are uh some things that are quite right volatelli i feel like he's gonna surprise us if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below but this epi like I said, is all about this Balotella Tubby card. Um, is better, doesn't have as much pace obviously as his, uh, as his Scream, Ultimate Scream card, but does have himself 81 pace, and then the, the shooting stats is what you want to look at, because it is massively, massively upgraded over his base, goes up to 99 shooting, uh, 99 shot power, and then also has himself a cheeky bit of 93 finishing, as well as 83 composure. The two spot, ladies and gentlemen, can we get a drum roll? Like, you know what I'm saying? 69 minus 1, he's got himself 68 stamina, which is not great by any means. He's going to be in the red by like the 65th, 68th, 69th, or maybe even the 70th minute. But 89 strength is something to look at. Uh, the jumping and heading accuracy is okay because he does have a little bit of height. Medium low work rates don't work great, but he's got 4 star, 4 star. So I'm hoping that he can rise to the occasion. 85 rated striker instantly becomes one of the highest rated strikers in league and right behind Cavani. And then Talvon, I believe, is 86 rated. And then I think he's the third. He would be the third highest. As a matter of fact, he'd be the same rating as Falcao. But he would be the third highest, I believe, striker in the uh, in league. And we've got ourselves a spicy little squad here. Haven't had a chance to use this ultimate screen, Verratti. But he looks like an absolute snack. He's got shooting. Four star, four star. Agility for days. The only thing is that 65 pace. We threw the Hunter Chem style. Uh, we've got the uh, flashback Daniel Vesh. We've got Casey Neistat, uh, Mbappe. And then on the left, we've got the combo. The Bromance of Dreams, Rashford, and J-Lings, who we did an epi on yesterday. But we are going to get into a few Rivals matches. We're going to see if this Balotelli, if the strength and the shooting and shot power, that's really what you're getting this Balotelli card for. If you love Lee Gun, if you run a side with Neymar and Mbappe, uh, that is why you run that particular side. And we're going to see if the shot power, the combination of shot power and strength, can literally out-physical our opponent. Let's get into match number one. Vita get you. Um, hold on a second. What? Do I need to get on the mic and remind this guy that his division right look at the fin? scored this year we've been practicing our time finishing all year and we get on the board in the not even the second minute 123 literally that i think might be a channel record for scoring the quickest goal or the fastest goal ever balotelli and we've been practicing like i said the mexican flags in the background very emotional we've, we've definitely been scored on faster than that um th that's for sure and it's probably happened a bunch of times but my dear lord balotelli already back at it again with the finessis Dude, finesse simulator. That's what it is. That's literally what we've... It's literally what it's come to. He does miss. Ah, uh, the 
deflection. That's a nasty deflection. I don't want to take too much credit for that one. But Balotelli is up to two goals. Mario Balotelli tubby. Uh, there we go. Hey, look at that, dude. The two PSG bros, the two Manchester United bros, which I just... No, not what am I talking about, PSG. Balotelli plays for Nice, obviously. Uh, but PSG drew Manchester United in the Champions League draw. Couple spicy ones. Liverpool, Bayern. Uh, Porto, Ajax. I'm pretty sure is one. And then, who did Juve get? You know what? Uh, Lazio got Sevilla in the, in the Europa League draw. That is kind of crushing, because Sevilla play... Sevilla are a very tough team to play in that in that competition. So that Milinkovic Savic, that might have been his last upgrade. Tirado Dante del Arabi contra Vieirinha. Toca atrás Chicharro, le va a dar al segundo palo. Chicharro, 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 Chicharro. Is this the best Mexican player of all time? Yo, how does his Chicharito just do that versus my Virgil Van Dyke? My 87 Virgil Van Dyke Chicharito just made him look like he just made my Virgil Van Dyke look like Phil Jones. We're gonna go to the 4-4-2. That's my bread and butter. We're gonna go to the 4-4-2, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Balotelli as our left striker, Mbappe as our right striker. What champion, Kylian Mbappe, and he will be Mbappe. Hey, he did a lot of that for us in the weekend league. Um, and I'm thinking maybe, you know what, Mbappe at striker might be the shout. Absolutely magisterial goal! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, is that a pen? Era penal! Era penal! Let's go, his soul Campbell. Um, his soul Campbell gets the pen, which gets us a, uh, which gets us another chance with Balo. He's got 99 pens, alright, good to know. So we're gonna send him to the right, and then we're actually just gonna go middle. Let's go, vamos! The Balotelli hat trick, 62nd minute. Come on, boys. And he's gonna rage quit. 4-2 was just a little bit too much for this ASG King. Respect the squad, though. Anytime I come up against the guy with Mexican players in the squad, uh, much, much respect. Chicharito, again, made my 87 Van Dyke look like an absolute merchant. And no, never mind. He's making adjustments. Yeah, I'm different. I'm Mario, so. What about Mario Balotelli? There'll be a lot of stories about him. Balo! Come on! Jesus! We can't be missing open nets like that. I got. The, there was a little bit too much cheek there. There was a little bit too much cheek on that one. Work hard. There wasn't enough cheek on that one, dude. Match number one with Footmas Balotelli, and it is a victory. He gets himself man of the match, uh, gets himself the Hattie. Probably could have had more. He hit, the po he hit the post twice, so he could have had himself a game where he possibly could have had five goals. But uh, he left a few on the table. I feel like we probably should have had six. 13 shots, six on target. Eight shots, five on target for him. But uh, match number one, a very, very impressive debut. Wasn't too expensive to do, to be honest with you. Uh, was that fluky? Because some of those goals were a little bit trash. Let's get into our second match. Let's see if we can ball out. Match number two, and it is Icon City. He's got Millie, uh, He's got that Millie Savage that we just talked about. Probably is going to stay at that 87 rated. I don't see, no offense to Lazio, uh, but I don't see them beating Sevilla and going through in Europa League. Um, we've got ourselves Henrik Larsson. He's got himself the prime icon, Henrik Larsson. And then also that Dries Mertens up top. Does anyone want to explain to me how I got a yellow on that? Battle of the hair. Let's go! Brilliant from Ballo! One nil, Vitegates, Alez, or how do you say when he's, he's Italian? So, Forza, Forzatelli, for, Forzatelli, oh yeah, dude, I like that. Five goal contributions in two matches played and comes through with a nice little 30th minute, uh, 30th minute breakthrough. Uh, that's a stat that you don't get on his other card, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let's check out the scream. Balotelli. Surprise, surprise, puppy surprise. Will there be three or four? Meet the new puppy surprise mommies. He's still got like 80% energy, dude. Wait, hold on. He's on the same... He's on the same energy as Mbappe? You know what? We're going to pause the game in the 75th. We're going to pause the game every 10 minutes. And we're going to see... Wait, it's 68 stamina. He should already... Shouldn't he already be chugging? 
Mbappe has what? Mbappe has 83, and they're at the same stamina. No, no, no. I'm no. I need a serious inquiry. I need a serious discussion on why that was not a foul. I swear Sergio Ramos is protected not only in real life, but I feel like he is legitimately re protected by FIFA, dude. How is that not a foul? He just he just took out my Balotelli. <laughs> Come on! You don't, dude, you don't take out Balotelli. Yeah, that's right. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, I don't agree with Shushing. It's not a... It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's psychological warfare, but I'm not going to do it to him. Mbappe! Mbappe's one of the only cards that does that. He does this thing where if he breaks down through the right, his it, it, does he have crazy shot power? It always goes top left. It either hits the crossbar, it never goes wide, it never goes... Um, is he just that clinical as a finisher? I swear Mbappe is 69th minute. Get in, dude. Come on. Surprise, surprise, puppy surprise. Will there be three or four or five? I hate Meet this game. Meet the new puppy I... surprise mommies. Go on, Balo. Good evening, everyone. And there you have it, boys. Two matches in a row and two very... You want to know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say two very impressive performances from the Had Khan himself. Mario Balotelli, footness version, steps up in a big way, gets us two goals. Hattie in the first one, so six goal contributions in two matches played. Uh, and then the boy, the young boy, Kylian Mbappe, steps up in a nice way as well. And we get ourselves two wins in division number four, in, in a division where we really needed the guys to step up. Uh, Balotelli not only does so, again, you can see a little bit of that agility, that upgraded agility. Uh, bangs it right through his keeper. And then we've got Mbappe. And, uh, again, a little body... Dude, body fade is not something that you expect to do with, uh, with Balotelli often. But you see a little bit of that improved agility. One ma uh, makes one man miss and then makes the second man miss right there. And once he gets in the box in that position, he is going to put it past. Doesn't matter if you got Theobal Courtois in that... Uh, he is gonna put it past him. But anyway, boys, that is gonna do it for the Mario Balotelli episode. You guys let me know if you have done this SPC, whether or not you found him good, whether or not you found him bad. I'm gonna give him a fresh, I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a certified cunt rating. If he was a hard cunt, then I would say stay away from him. But if we're gonna give him a rating, he's gonna be a certified cunt. Really, really enjoyed his card. It is very fun to use. It really goes to show how, how EA value pays given the fact that he's on 100k. He goes for about as much as Mario Balotelli and Andres Iniesta's SBC is combined, which absolutely blows my mind. But anyway, boys, that's going to be the episode. You guys let me know if you want to see maybe an Akanji Zakaria link tomorrow. You guys let me know if you want to see an Andres Iniesta one as well. Azueta Glory will be coming shortly. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But if you guys did enjoy this Footmas SBC, this Footmas Balotelli player episode, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss, later, ade.